carbonates in the profile meet a certain certain level of uh, content to be defined as carbonatic or not. So the in order to do that, we use one more HCl, hydrochloric acid. It's not very strong. It's, it's a little bit stronger than vinegar, but it's a standard chemical that is used across the board. It's a universal acid that's used for this. So we'll just drop a couple of drops on these, and based on how many bubbles arise from this is defined by NRCS in this chart here. An effervescence class. So we have five different classes, possible classes that this could come out as, as non-effervescent to violent. So there's five different categories there. We'll just see which one each one of these are. So we'll drop some acid on there. And that's pretty much a violent response. The violent defined as bubbles rapidly form a thick foam. And that's what that did. If we go down the line here, this clay loam soil. It's from New Mexico. Also pretty violent. So I would say that's also VE violent. Go down to another one here. Say that one's a strong. It's not not it's formed a low foam, not high. So we go down to another one. Just try each one of these. Another strong there, I'd say. Very slight. So this one is, has very little carbonate in it. Do a second test, third test. Just a very low mound of bubbles. And it's, it's defined as just numerous bubbles form. This sand, non effervescent. Drop it on there, it's just like dropping water. Nothing happens. Another strong soil there, and finally another strong. So most of these soils are from New Mexico, and in, because we're an arid environment, it's not uncommon to find a lot of carbonates in soils of all horizons here.